Hey guys, as you can see in today's video, I will be showing you how I make a pin cushion. You can find the link to it in the video description. These files include three versions of the pin cushion. You can decide which one you'd like to make for yourself. You might not think it, but the smaller version is a little bit harder to complete. Today I am going to make the large size pin cushion by sewing using a longer rivet. All of the round parts are made from vegetable leather, which is 2.2 millimeters or 5 ounces thick. For this part, I used leather, which is 1.5 millimeters or 4 ounces. Here, you can mark the leather around the holes so you are sure when stitching in the next steps. To make the holes, I am using a 1.5 millimeter and a 3 millimeter hole punch. I'd like to take this moment to thank everyone who bought from my shop, liked, subscribed and rated my work. As I was saying earlier today, I am going to make the sawed rivet version, however if you're interested in making the copper cap version, I am going to demonstrate how to do it as well. You can buy the copper cap in a plumber shop. This is how it should look if you are making the copper cam version. Let's go back to the version we were doing.
find the holes you marked earlier and place both parts on top of each other. This part is very important. Once again, you want to match the holes together. Now it is time to put a normal sponge inside, make sure it's even inside the cushion. As you can see everything came out pretty nice, it took me about 4 and a half hours to complete this pin cushion. Thank you for watching and feel free to check out my other videos, you can find more information in the video description.